Okay, what? Free for a limit? Oh, of course. All right, how could I not? Oh, man, it's real. So every once in a while, uh, every once in a while, Humble Bundle has these amazing deals where they activate a video or a game for completely free. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's some kind of pr promotion or whatever for their cause because uh, Humble Bundle is, you know, donations for charity. And there was another game on here that I completely forgot about that was also completely free. Uh, aha, the Shadow Warrior. This game was $50 at the time and it was absolutely free on, um, uh, on Humble Bundle. And I don't think it's free anymore. So if you guys wanted this game, I think it's, yeah, 40 bucks now or a special is 50 And I think, I think it was 40 bucks. I'm not really sure. But The Walking Dead's installing. <laughs> All right, let's do it. The Walking Dead. All right, Walking Dead, click to continue. We're gonna be using a controller, just like usual. So, this is obviously only free because of Humble Bundle, as I already mentioned. You guys should definitely um, check out Humble Bundle in the description below. It is a charity-based thing where companies can offer up their games for a very low price, and then you can donate, say, like uh, 12 bucks or something, and then get a certain amount of different games. So, I have, oh, is that really all installed? Did I install? Every single episode? I thought this was only episode one. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to play... Uh, turn off UI hands help. Alright, we're going to do standard. So I'm not sure if we'll play the whole game. I'm not sure how long this game is. I'm going in with absolutely no experience. Sheen excitedly messaged me on um, on Steam telling me that this was ready. So, uh, let's play. is tailored by how you play. So I imagine you could play a number of different times and it would all be different. I wonder if this has anything to do with the show. Probably. By the way, I have cranked up the settings to max. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Oh wow, you really do do the whole story. Uh... Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. He advised uh, medical personnel on route to Hartsfield, various 10 to 20 coming in. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> did, I, did 
I just censor it? Hold up a second. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'll tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Get out of here. I need to drag myself out that window. I wonder if this is a shooter. Uh, look at the door and use that. Okay. Ugh. Damn it. Ugh. Damn it. So we need to get out of the handcuffs somehow? How do I get out of the hand? Oh, oh, up here. I see. Okay, alright. Well, obviously we gotta get that shotgun. <laughs> Try and get that shotgun over here. Alright, he's moving, he's moving. The officer's shotgun is over there. Alright, let's grab a shotgun shell. Did that give us one shot? carry with these cuffs off. Alright, so we need to get to the cop and unlock these keys. 
I think the cops infected. Officer. God damn. So can we just look at the cop or do we need to Can I walk into the forest? No? Okay. Officer! So I've called his name, not doing anything. Oh, oh, okay, alright. Well, snatch those. Oh wow, you have to actually unlock the okay. Thought that was Shit. kind of intuitive. And he drops them. All right, this really does play like a show. Uh, this is kind of a show or a game that you could like put on in a dark room and then just enjoy. Oh no, officer! Okay, all right, all right, all right. Holy shit! What in the hell? Get away from me! Okay. Of course he drops it. Alright, come on. Don't make me do this! Alright then. <laughs> I wonder if it was possible to miss that. Like, if you miss the shotgun, do you struggle and die or something? Is there a wrong decision in this game? Yeah. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Alright, so how do I... How do I get out of here? Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? I think he's dead. Oh, hello. Help! Go get someone! They're... There's been a shooting! Well, she understood, okay. Ah, it's spooky. I don't like this. <laughs> More of it. It's kind of fun watching this cutscene because, like, you really don't want it to put you <laughs> Sorry to ruin your intensity, but that should probably be quieter. Because in one of my past episodes, the uh, game drowned out my audio, so you guys could barely hear me. So I'm going to try to avoid that. It seems a bit. Wow, this is really zoomed out. Okay, okay, alright. Does it want me to go into the door? Do I have the option to, like, completely. so I could go inside or not? Okay, let's not go inside. Wow, I wonder how long it takes people to make a game when you have this Maybe many I options. I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Oh, so I can't skip the house? Maybe I should just yeah, okay, check right. inside the house can't through the glass the door heard it twice, before right. wandering out into the neighborhood. Help! I wish this guy could walk a little faster. Oh, there we go. Wow, he went really quick right there. I wonder if anybody's home. Probably not. I wonder if anybody's home. Probably not. I wonder if anybody's home. I I can't. How do I? Oh, I see. <laughs> Hello, anybody home? I need a little help.
coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? Come on, show the house. Not an intruder. You know what he looks like. Or one of them. Oh dear. These people might need more help than I do. quiet <clears throat> are you okay I'm okay they tried to get me but I'm hiding until my parents come home how does she not how does she know that he's not okay what's your name I'm Clementine this is my house hi Clementine I'm Lee how old are you Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. Ooh. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. That was her mom. Achievement unlock adventures and babysitting. Oh, oh man. Long. Hi there. Did you kill it? 
Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark, or get out of here once the sun goes down? We need to find help before huh. it gets dark. I'd imagine stay out all yeah, tonight. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. So what happened here? That's what I want to know. Alright. Had to load. I imagine that gate is where we're heading now. Where'd she run off to? Great quick play as her? <laughs> oh oh it's it's leading me over here. Can I um not do that? Okay. Uh, oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Oh, we found some survivors over here. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tree tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. Sean of the This dead. is Clementine. I'm Chet. Did his mouth not move? We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Uh -oh. Leave quick. Let's go. I wonder why they're trying to push this car. Oh, the truck works. Okay, all right. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. 
I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Jumping a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Nothing bad. I just hope she's not in any now. I'm not some kidnapper, all right? I'm just trying to help. We can just leave it at that. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. He said daughter. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Ha ha ha. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. I wonder if this is based off the comics, not the show. I think so. Oh, they're in the barn. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I wonder if this is the first episode finished. I love you, baby. No. <laughs> oh, nightmares. Hey, get up. Oh, bright and early. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? 
I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of the fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water down. break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Gameplay. I can do stuff again. Let's talk to her. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Alright. That is a lot of dialogue. Let's, uh, work on the... What is... Is he just... They're frozen. Let's head over there, I guess. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. I'll be actually gonna... Alright. Nope, I'm just gonna watch him pretend to do it again. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall I'm like sure you the think. Be cut by now. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Bastard. Poor girl's brains here. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. 
That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And with that, he ends the conversation. Alright, I think I'm actually going to cut it here. So, this might be a weird place to stop, but I don't really know how long this game is, and I feel like it could... Well, more story, I suppose. I feel like I could go on a lot longer, and we've already been going over half an hour, so I don't want this video to become way too long or anything, because I do want to get this up relatively soon. Obviously, if you guys want me to continue on and maybe play through this, any part of the last update will be lost, or you should want to exit the game. Yes. I shouldn't have been too long. If I did actually lose any progress, then I will be sure to uh, make that back up for you guys. So, yeah. Uh, not a lot of commentary either, because that game is mostly storyline, just kind of listening in. So if you guys want to uh, see a part two of episode one, or continue on episode two or whatever, I'll look into how much that costs and whatnot, and see if we can get it done. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching this super long episode. Thank <laughs> you.